Okay, so in this video, we will show how to obtain the exact value of sine and cosine at pi over 3 and pi over 6. And all we have to do is consider an equilateral triangle. So a triangle whose sides are all of the same length. And since the length of any side can be anything that we want, let's take it to be equal to 1. Now we know that since the sum of the interior angles of any triangle is pi, and all three angles are the same, then every angle must be pi over 3. And now we will drop down from this point the perpendicular onto the other side. And by symmetry, right, this triangle is the same as this triangle, so then this side equals the length of the other side. So let's now reproduce only the left-hand triangle. So we have a hypotenuse of 1. Since this side is half of 1, it's of course 1 half. And the angle here is pi over 3. And the angle here is pi over 2. Well, we can find the other angle in two different ways. Right By symmetry, the perpendicular bisects this angle. As the angle is pi over 3, half of it will be pi over 6. You could also look at this again using the property that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is pi. Since this angle is pi over 2, these two have to add up to pi over 2, and pi over 3 plus pi over 6 is pi over 2. So everything checks out. Well, we can now find the height of our triangle using Pythagoras' theorem, right? This squared plus this squared must equal 1, so the length of this side squared is 1 minus a half square, which is a quarter. So 1 minus a quarter is 3 quarters. So this side squared is 3 quarters. So this side is the root of 3 quarters. So it's the root of 3 over the root of 4, which is 2. So we now have all three sides of our triangle. So let's now use this triangle to first look at the exact values of sine and cosine at pi over 3. So cos of pi over 3, well cos is the adjacent, 1 half, divided by the hypotenuse 1, so cos of pi over 3 is 1 half. What about sine of pi over 3? Well the sine is the opposite side over the hypotenuse, which is 1, so the sine of pi over 3 is root 3 over 2. And now we can consider the other angle, pi over 6. So cos of an angle is the adjacent side, root 3 over 2 over the hypotenuse 1, so cos of pi over 6 is root 3 over 2. And sine of pi over 6, is the opposite side, 1 half over the hypotenuse, which is 1, so sine of pi over 6 is 1 half. And that's it.